everyone happy friday welcome back to our channel we've got a fun video today i was not expecting to do this one today but i'm gonna do it because um, my husband and i were out and about and we had an appointment in one of the smaller towns and we thought you know what let's just go ahead and stop off at goodwill and see what we can find and we think we found some really great um, opportunities i cannot wait to share with you guys i'm sandra if you are new here welcome we're so glad you stopped by and um, are checking this thing out with us we are resellers on ebay poshmark macari um, depop and facebook marketplace and um, we find um, things that are just kind of price and sell it on those platforms um, i'm also excited because i finally got my other shoe box in from thread up I will probably do the video today or tomorrow and probably post that on Sunday because I'm going to post this other haul today that I'm, I'm doing. I'll probably put that up um, probably tomorrow because I've got another haul that we um, did yesterday that I will probably be putting up today. So we've got some extra videos that we weren't expecting between now and Monday when we do our what sold. In the meantime, you guys, let's dive in and see what we got today. I am, um, again... He kind of went off and did some of the hard goods, and then I went and looked at shoes and clothes and all kinds of fun things. Um, we got a few things, you guys, um, to start off with. Um, now, I know some of these things are really simple things, but you know, when you're only paying a dollar or two, even if you can sell them for 15, every little bit makes a difference. We found this really, really pretty bird, and um, it's in great condition, and I do believe that this I think it makes I think he had it he had it making a sound in the store I am um, gonna have to ask him I don't know but anyway we paid two dollars for this and it's a really pretty bird oh there you go it's a musical bird thing very very cute so he found that, and he got that, and this is really cool. This was like $1.75. We kind of found comps anywhere from $10 to like $20. This is a vintage Kodak Tele-Instamatic camera. Look at that, you guys. I mean, when was the last time you saw something like that, huh? Pretty cool. Even if we only got 10 bucks, you know, we paid less than $2 for it, so... He just thought that that was super cool. And then we found another one of these. Now, obviously, this is going to get cleaned up and shined. We only paid a dollar for this. Another one of those really pretty silver platters that you can shine up. So we'll do that. And you always look in the bags. One of the gals that I follow, she looks in things that have bags around them. And she finds some really amazing for, you know things that she can sell. This is a bunch of little bears. I don't know if you can see them they're just little bears and he said these were comping at 20 plus for these little bears and the bag was a dollar 75 so we got that this little guy i was so surprised 75 cents for this little guy he was comping at 20 dollars plus on ebay amazing i'm so excited to put him up super super cute and then let me um let me rearrange here a little bit. I'm not going to do the clothes just yet. We're going to do the goods. This was a 75 cents again. And it says love on it. So that was probably like a $10 thing. So cool. This one also was about $10, $15. Paid 75 cents for it. The comps, there's a lot of variations of this. It's just a little you know, decor. There was multiple different types of these that were made in different designs and they were comping anywhere from 15 to like 30. So we grabbed it. We're going to just put it up and see what we can do with that. And then really, really cool. Um, my husband was going around, Dan was going around and looking at different things. He found a bunch of these Avon, what it's called, Wild Country Aftershave. These are vintage. And they were comping anywhere from 15, 20, 25 on up. So he actually found that one. And then he found, let me see here, another one. This was, 
I'm not sure what this one is because he found this at the last minute and I didn't see what it is. This might be another bird. Let me put these down so we can really look at this here. Let's see what we have. Oh my goodness, yes. So here's another one. This is very unique. It does have the lid. Again, another Avon. And it, it does have the lid piece. The, oh, it's a fish, you guys. This is a fish. So we got that. And again, these were so super inexpensive. Um, we paid $3 for this. Um, so we got that. And again, these were comping at $20.25 plus each. So there's that one. And then this one here um, was another fish one. Again, same thing. A different type of fish one that he found. We've got that one. Again, um, this one was Avon as well, $2 for this one. So we got that one. And then, very carefully put that back in so I don't break anything. These were so cool, you guys. This was $3. And this, again, is kind of what got him on looking for these. Um, you guys, this is just really, really cool. Again, these are all vintage. And he said the cottons were just really great on this. So there's that one. And then I have two more kind of like that. This one was $2. And these are all in the box too. Here's another one of these. Now this is the same as the first one that I showed you, but this one has the box with it. And this is what the box looks like. So we'll keep it in the box. We'll package it up and we'll keep it in the box. So there's that one. And then one more like that. This one was a moose one. Really cool. So there's that one. So these are great just little decor pieces that people can use or if they liked Avon and like to collect those things. So there's that. And then the last thing, two things that I want to show you. Um, we were checking out, and I was just kind of looking on the wall at some things that they had, you know, just for people to see. I mean, I paid $4.25 for this. It's a St. John's Bay, and it's a corduroy jacket. But the reason why I wanted to get it is look at the back. And I looked up comps for vintage corduroy jackets like this, and they were really kind of ranging. So I'm going to definitely double check the comps on this. Um, I'm probably going to list this for between 25 to 30 and again, I paid four and a quarter. But I know that these types of decor on the back of jackets is really kind of popular. And let me see, what does this say again? It says... Inco... Teeth? I'm not sure what that says. But anyway, I just know that that's kind of one of those things that people like, so... I thought, and the jacket's in pretty good condition. It's actually in really good condition. You can definitely tell it's vintage, but it just, it, there's not like a lot of loose pieces and, you know. So I just thought that that was really, really cute. And we'll give that a try. And then the last piece, I've really been looking for some great spring summer dresses, not just for people to wear out and about to dinner or whatever, but also for weddings. Um, whether they're in a wedding or they're going to a wedding and I found this one and I'd never seen um, this type before this is an H&M and I looked up comps and this was averaging anywhere from $25 to $30 sold I paid $4.75 for this and it's a really beautiful dress but let me show you it's got the cap sleeves and it's got the flowing bodice but or skirt but let me show you it's got a unique detail to it, and it's all over the dress. You see how it's got this, this, um, this, uh, I'm trying to think, texture to it. And it's all over the dress. It's super pretty. And the dress is in really good condition. I double-checked it over a couple times. So I'm going to list this for probably $30, $35 starting out and uh, see how that does for spring, summer, possible weddings and things. I have some other dresses on there. I have a couple more dresses on there that are kind of for wedding and things like that. 
Um, so I got that. So guys, this was the haul today. Again, we just dropped in to see, hey, let's see what we can get um, back from our appointment. And we feel like we picked up a few things that be, could, could be great vintage pieces. Um, so that's the haul for today. Guys, I hope you really like this. Please like and subscribe if you like this content for hauls. And um, we're going to be doing, again, our What Souls this, this coming Monday. Um, and just other, we're going to do, I'm going to do the thread up unboxing here. And um, this one, again, I believe is the shoes. And I've got another men's thread up unboxing um, clothes coming as well. Um, that probably will be here next week, maybe the week after. So guys, thank you again so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this and guys, we will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.